In the new film, Promising Young Woman, Carrie Mulligan goes on a series of dates, then writes the names of the suitors in a book. You're not quite sure what she's up to, but you know there's something afoot. Gradually, director Emerald Fennell fills in the blanks, turning what looks like a madcap romance into an intense thriller that never stops upping its ante. For Mulligan, it's an excellent showcase that morphs into the most frightening date film since Fatal Attraction. Initially, Mulligan seems like a woman who hasn't found her purpose. She works at a coffee shop, she lives at home with her parents, and she banters with her boss all the time. Soon we discover there's a past that's more than a little murky. Offhandedly, we learn that she was a promising medical student who was at the top of her class. She dropped out, but doesn't talk much about that career until a former classmate, played by Bo Burnham, turns up at the coffee shop. He asks her out on a date, the two have a cool, casual relationship, and then shoes start to fall. Fennell details those missing years, turning this into a discussion about rape culture and the men who populate it. While Burnham is a refreshing leading man, he takes a back seat to Mulligan, who's at the top of her game. You can sense she's planning something, but what? While Promising Young Woman has the hallmarks of a typical rom-com, it's anything but. It's to Mulligan's credit that she can pivot so effortlessly and show us multiple sides of a woman who doesn't seem to have a lack of them. The film, in fact, is like the three faces of Eve laced with fatal attraction. On every count, Mulligan is Glenn Close's heir apparent. Certainly not a frothy little romance, Promising Young Woman has plenty to say and doesn't waste time doing so. Its ending may disappoint, but the moves leading up to it will have you talking for days. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.